Gaming Bolt presents 15 jump out of your seat scary moments in video games. We have a lot of ground to cover here, so let us dive right in. Outlast. In the early stages of the game, as you try to figure out what is torn through this once proud hospital, you come across a thin, sickly looking body slumped over in a wheelchair. It seems like nothing at first, just another casualty in the massacre that has swept through the premise, but as you walk by the body, it suddenly leaps up, screaming at you and trying to grab a hold of you. It comes out of nowhere and tries to murder you, and it isn't the first thing in the game to do so. Fatal Frame 3 Ray wanders into a dark room and has a feeling that something is wrong. As she traces her flashlight around the room, its beam falls on a pale head, veiled by thin black hair floating out from behind a wall. She freezes in terror, unsure of what she has just seen. Suddenly, a pair of ghostly arms appear from behind her, slowly reaching up to her throat. Outlast, not again. After exploring the desolate asylum, you're chased by various inmates throughout the facility. After a long and trying chase, you arrive at an elevator. A voice echoes over the PA, telling you that you'll be safe, and just as you think you're free from the maniacs, finally taking a breath, the asylum's demented doctor grabs you and carries you off. or whatever, you must be exhausted. No, let's take a break, huh, buddy? The old two martini lunch? Hmm? Have a little confab, blah, blah. PT. During one of those hallway loops, as you reach the center of the hall, you hear a voice over the radio say, look behind you. You're immediately filled with dread as you slowly do a 180. Then, as you face the other way, the game's haunting female ghost leaps in front of the camera before everything goes black. Alien Isolation The entire game is a terrifying, tension-soaked adventure, but nothing made our skin crawl more than crawling through a vent trying to survive, only to realize that we weren't alone. As we ignited our flare, casting a dim red light throughout the metallic tunnel, the xenomorph suddenly leaps out from the shadows, sinking its teeth into us as everything faded into black.
Dead Space 2. At one point during the player's horrific journey, Clark walks through a large freezer with what looks like human bodies, frozen in stasis behind massive cryotubes. As he enters the area, a shriek breaks through the silence, as decomposing bodies break out of the tubes, frantically grasping at Isaac, trapping him in his own nightmare. Condemned Criminal Origins As you make your way through the story of Condemned, you find yourself in a dingy locker room. After opening one of the lockers, you discover a bloodied corpse stuffed inside the metal box. You're instructed to snap a picture of the body, but as you zoom in on its blood-soaked skin, it springs to life, wrapping its skeletal fingers around your wrist. He looks right at you and begs for your help, all the while still hunkered over in the locker. Dead Space, The Necromorphs The first minutes of Dead Space are eerily quiet. Isaac Clarke and his crew approach the USG Ishimura, remarking at the lack of activity on the vessel. They board the ship and walk through the abandoned halls. Then, as the crew tries to gain their bearings, a sinewy, gnarled figure drops from the ceiling. It rises up, brandishes the knives it has for hands, and cuts into Isaac's crew as he rushes to the elevator, trying to avoid the bizarre creature. The tram system's offline. Getting around is going to be difficult. The air seems to be flowing again. That's a start. What the hell was that? Automatic quarantine must have tripped when the filtration system restarted. Everybody relax. What was that? Did you hear that? Not sure. What the hell? I don't know. Something's in the room with us. Power! Get her! Come on! Until Dawn. At one point in Until Dawn, Chris and Ashley are walking through the basement of the house when they see a dollhouse sitting in the corner. They open it only to find an exact replica of a scene that took place a year prior, comprised entirely out of naked dolls. As they realize what they're looking at, one of the dolls opens its eyes and whips its head around, staring at them with dead porcelain eyes. This was set up by someone who was there. Or someone, or something that was watching us. Maybe it's a warning. I think someone, I think someone put this here to mess with us. No, it has to be the ghost. It's trying to tell us the maniac killed Hannah and Beth. I think it's this bastard that he's, he's here trying to fuck with our heads. Why would he set this all up, Chris? He's trying to tell us that he's going to come after us all, too. Dice! <laughs> Soma. As you venture through the story, you're sometimes consumed with what appears to be static as the screen grows blurry and howling intensifies. Racing through dimly lit halls constantly trailed by the howling and trying to avoid whatever is chasing you. The sense of dread is constant. You never feel safe as the world around you crumbles. Even your own vision isn't safe. Amnesia, a machine for pigs. At one point in the game, as you walk through rows of crates with only your lamp to lead you, the light shines over a small, boar-like creature trudging between the aisles. Then, as the lights flicker above you, strange sounds emanate from around you. 
When they finally flicker back on, the small creature is lumbering towards you, fully intent on ending you. Fear. The first person horror game was layered in suspense and shadows, but the real star was Alma, the mysterious girl who was at the center of the game's conflict. She would appear out of nowhere, striding in amidst the chaos. Her purpose is unknown, but she appears to be pulling the strings, masterminding the entire game. You can never harm her and she only appears when she sees fit. The Evil Within Early in the game, after discovering that a strange plague has taken over the denizens of the city, players find themselves in an empty barn. A faint noise can be heard, but it's not clear where it's coming from. Then, a massive man with a chainsaw bursts through the barn wall, rushing at the player. It came out of the blue and then began to earnestly stalk us, chainsaw revving and taking bullet after bullet before finally succumbing. Call of Cthulhu, Dark Corners of the Earth. The game eventually leads you into a maze of underground sewers, with each tunnel having seemingly no end. Then, as you walk around aimlessly, a child's laughter penetrates the silence as your vision begins to blur. Then, amid the blur, a man appears out of nowhere and is suddenly right in front of you, blocking your path. Amnesia, the mysterious castle, a strange monster waddles out of the darkness. A large red tongue hanging over its gaping mouth, it rushes towards you, lurching out of the corners of the castle. Which moment did you get scared of? And if you like what we're doing, go ahead and click that subscribe button. See you soon.